Okay, so after playing Ogre Battle for several weeks, just finishing that, I am now on Yu-Gi-Oh! The False Bound Kingdom. This game is basically Ogre Battle, but with less unit management, not as in-depth, and uses Yu-Gi-Oh! characters. So that's cool. I played this game when I had it on the... Um, over that a little bit. When I had it on the GameCube, but... I never actually beat it. I got like to the third or fourth level and then realized it was too hard. But uh, I've been playing a couple more RTSs since, so I think I'm prepared for this. Alright, I guess let's jump into it. We're gonna go Kaiba first. I like playing Kaiba. Here's one of my favorite characters. Well, the, the white dragon, not a, you know, not the actual trait. Company, right? Okay. Okay. And now the lies already start. Thanks for it, kids. Same dude that kidnapped him in the show and put him in the other virtual virtual world. And Kaiba, you're done for trusting him. was a Yu-Gi-Oh will. Not that kind of will. So, how does that help them enter the world? See, now this looks like Ogre Battle. It's 
This music also reminds me of Duel of the Roses. I fucking love that game too. It's off like a odor battle, taking down a revolution. I think it's safe to say we're trapped in this world. Well, you haven't even tried to leave. Every game has to have an ending. Well, that, that's, that is not true. Damn, is this also from Duels of the Roses? Fuck yeah, I miss these Yu-Gi-Oh spinoff games. I miss when Yu-Gi-Oh was popular. So how do I know their speed? Oh, I have to use the D-pad. Is that gold the upkeep? I forgot about that. What the fuck does that mean? Yeah, we'll send him to, why not? I don't know what the fuck discount means. Discount on what? Oh, okay. Okay, so we're going to try this again. Yesterday, I tried Yu Gi Oh! and the frame rate just kept dropping, and it was just 
it was just unwatchable. So, canceled it a few times and came back. But we're gonna test it out today, but I did a test stream on my other account and it seemed good. So we're gonna pick up from the load, which no missions are done, I just got through the intro. Okay, so this will be my third attempt <laughs> on this since um, the stream just kept dropping frames and making it unwatchable. So I want to make sure... Okay, that's all set. I guess, like, the first battle against an actual enemy will determine whether or not this uh, freezes. and Mokuba there too this time. And I'll have this guy capture the rogue city. I'm just gonna keep attacking since there's no point in blocking. You already lost more than half your health. Could at least try to get a shot out. Oh, zero damage. Okay. Probably could have got the kill if I didn't hit a guard. Hit when he was guarding. So in the little camera, or in the game preview, you can actually like move the camera around during a battle. So I'm gonna try that for the next one. Actually, I'm gonna have Mokuba go here. Ooh, I'm gonna get that second city. So this fight will determine whether or not I can actually keep playing this. Because I swear, I think it's the particle effects. And it just messes up the stream. I don't know why that is, but I mean, every time they get into a fight, it just makes the game just freeze on the stream. And through Streamlabs. But when I switch to a different game like uh, Zelda or Ogre Battle, it's completely fine. Oh damn, we got there kind of quick. Okay. Um, go venture in the mountains. Thanks for telling me the tutorial, even though I've already did a first battle. I usually go for the crab. 
So I'm gonna go for the crab again. attack something other than the clown. You know what? I'm actually going to use the clown to attack something not the crab since he doesn't even do that much damage to him anyways. We're gonna try the ant. Damn, that damage is still garbage. And he's still had an attack left. time. Oh, he did. Nice. I actually don't know how that worked. I'm not going to argue with it, though. kill any of them unless I hit a critical. Since the horse man's guarding. Go to him again, Mokuba. as soon as the match started.
Oh, he did. So I think the lobster and the ant share the same sound when they attack. I got enough health to just keep hitting them. Finish him with Kaiba. Oh, I keep forgetting the camera thing. Oh. Um. Never mind. I guess I'll just get back into it. To another fight! Finish with an armored lizard. Send you out in the forest. Real question is Is there any monsters in the mountains you can get? I think you auto hill in towns like an ogre battle. I think you actually gotta pay. Yourself through. Dragon stop. Um, I guess maybe you can't get them from the mountain. Also, I thought I sent Mokuba. Or, oh. Wait. Okay, I just watched him hill. So maybe castles. Yeah, I have no idea.
Maybe it's only forests, so no plains, no mountains. Again, I'm still thinking ogre battle. It's an ogre battle. Oh, well, kind of was anywhere. It was even trails if you wanted it. You know what? There we go. <coughs> yeah, <coughs> needed to have the map streamed out. So, oh, I actually knew I was doing with the mini map. All right, after you explore that, I'm gonna send him back in the town to get him healing. Still got plenty of time left. Alright, fuck it. You go finish healing. Ooh! Did they just send out another squad? Oh! Oh, wow. So that squad came back. <gasps> so you could grind them out, basically. health does he have? Almost all of it. He's probably gonna get his ass kicked. Well, the horse guy and the ant have the same amount of health, but <clears throat> horse guy has three attacks, so let's see if we can take him down first. Thirty. Holy shit, that's bad. Yeah, I'm going to replace that flower with the monster I just got. You fucking suck. But I don't remember if there's like a power cap for each squad. I feel like there should be. There was a power cap for your decks and sacred cards on GBA. Or was it regular Game Boy? I don't remember. You dead. Well, I got what I came for, so I don't really need to take any more of these hits. Oh, well, it's just one more hit. I was gonna back out, but it's, it's only just the crab left.
Oof. I think that's the first time I've seen him miss. Even yesterday when I was attempting to do this and it kept freezing. Actually, we're gonna wait. Something over 30, please. Ah, another miss. That's, uh, that's good. She can only take like one more hit from him. Luckily, he's out of points. And he doesn't do that much damage to her. Don't miss. Garbage. You know, I'm gonna battle with him one more time and just have the water girl block. Is Kaiba still on his way down there? Fuck it. She's out of defenses. She gonna die. And a critical. Your turn, bud. Wait, do towns also have a chaos meter?
Yeah, I'm seeing C's by the city, so is that chaos? Or cooperative? I have no idea. They need to do a little thing that explains all the icons. I'm speaking. Yeah, you're about full health. Go for it. I'm just gonna watch Mokuba, see if he goes up. Alright, so barely. Ooh, I like the nighttime effect in this game. Okay, so I guess I know what those icons mean now. That thing looks adorable. But they have a lot of attack power. Weak is first. Oh, he has four attacks. I'm actually digging this battle music. You're going to defend because you're about to die. Good call. Alright, after I kill this thing, I'm going to retreat and let Kaiba finish the rest. get XP for that still.
Damn, that's actually quite a lot of damage. Come and see how much damage he could have done. Alright, see how much damage I can do to you now, and hopefully I don't miss again. Jack shit. Alright, Mocha, but you finish it. first critical. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. I was trying to play with the camera. Well, you know what? Kaiba needs a player victory. Why not? Or player wipe out, squad wipe. Whatever you want to call it for this game. I'm going to call it a squad wipe. I'll let you break his guard with that weak ass attack. Ooh. 
I know where I'm gonna put oh actually I should put him in the Marshal's army. Oh, they were executed too. Damn. Called the Bandits. <laughs> yeah, what, what original name? We're gonna keep you for now. And we're gonna trade this piece of shit. Saiyan's got a high defense. Ooh, but it's super... A super low attack, or super low health compared to everything else. Yeah, we're gonna trade you out too. So, slightly higher defense, a little bit more attack. Yeah, I'm not sure how I want to do items yet. So we're going to leave those out. This is a big forest to track. We'll send both you. They actually get to use uh, other monster effects as icons. That's cool. I don't think I'm going to use that. Nah. 
I think the money I spent on having three marshals is worth it. So we're gonna send you in the forest, and you're gonna go look for monsters. Your commander, Bones. He's got a lot of healing. Should take out the ghost first. One more hit and he's out. Come on now, that's the same effect. Oh, so he can give it to anybody. Okay. Still don't change my mind on who to kill. So I think a defensive unit on the team would be more for uh, healing items, and so they'll be less likely to get killed during it. And they can take hits if they need to, like, instead of using action points to defend. Mocha, but you finish it. Mocha, fucking Mocha, go. What the fuck is happening? Oh, well, now I gotta beat his ass in order to take his health back down. Have you flee the town so Mokuba can get a fucking chance to attack? No more healing for you.
Wow, his critical is base damage for any other monster I have. I know who's going to replace next. What's up, Orange Twist? The hell is that even? What the hell is that emote? That scares me. Whatever it is. I was gonna have Kaiba's Dragon go through the forest. You go find me some monsters. Go do the same. Actually, no. I'm going to keep you back just in case they go for headquarters. First time playing this game. Actually, no. I played this game once, or I guess a little bit when I was younger, like a kid. Um, I didn't actually understand RTSs very well, and I didn't understand this game at all. And I would play as Yugi, and I'd get to the point where you can't let, like, a fort get caught on fire, and I'd always lose there. And so I decided the game was too hard, so I never played it again. But I've been playing Ogre Battle 64, and I just finished that um, last weekend. Sunday, actually. So I was like, you know what, I might as well give this game another chance, because I like Yu-Gi-Oh, and I like Ogre Battle style games, like this and Mountain Blade, so. Uh, it, it is, it, it is an RTS, because it's not like your, this right here is the RTS part, and then you go into turn-based battles, which is just like Ogre Battle or Mountain Blade. I mean, it's not like you're going from an overworld into turn-based battles like the maps are still part of the strategy itself and compared to ogre battle there's a time limit ogre battle did have time limits on the castle missions but other than that the win conditions were all the same just take to headquarters matter of fact the win conditions and lose conditions of this game are the exact same as ogre battle lose your main leader or lose your headquarters and done Makes it inconvenient because I don't like to have somebody guarding at headquarters at all times. I'd rather have them do something else. Should they explain it on this game? Um, what do you mean by that? Because I love these Yu-Gi-Oh spinoffs. I'd say this, even though it plays nothing like it, I'd say this is more of a sequel to Duels of the Roses. Uh, especially since they use sort, sort of the same music. And I fucking love that game, even though these two play nothing alike. That one actually plays more like an interactive board game. And then game sequels this style. Well... Um, like I was saying, if you want to play a game that's just like this, um, I'd say it better in a lot of respects. Uh, Ogre Battle 64. There's also Ogre Battle on the SNES slash PS1. I've never actually played that one. I'm actually looking... I'm going to look to get into that soon. But, uh, yeah, Ogre Battle is exactly like this. The only difference is when you actually meet troops on the overwar... Or you meet troops in the actual battles, um, you don't control who attacks who. The game picks it, but you can pick what their strategy is. Like, they can attack the weakest, the strongest, 
or whatever they want, or go for the leader of the squad. That game actually has a lot more strategy than this. What this game has that Ogre Battle does not is base defenses, um, like the equipment. That is one thing Ogre Battle does not have at all, but they have so much more when it comes to unit management, classes, items, um, equipping, permadeaths. And then there's also Mountain Blade Warband. Um, again, plays similar. It plays. I would say it is similar to this, but it's so different. Um, the battles are actually real time on small maps. And that game's a lot fucking longer. I think I played that game for the first time last summer, and it took me um, maybe two months to be almost no lifing it. I'll check to see if this maybe even has a war monsters. Most maps don't. Yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to go in blind. I mean, if you wanna if you wanna you know give me some help, that's cool. But I'm not gonna look up a guide myself. I hate doing that. If I feel so bad. Like the last time I had to do that was when I was playing through Banjo Kazooie, um, Nuts and Bolts and Tui. Because there's one goddamn Jinjo on Cloud Cuckoo Land, and I couldn't find it. Oh shit. He sent the motherfucker back out. Alright. Wait. Who's this? Who's right here? You go fight him. Wait. God damn it. I cannot tell what's going on with this map. Just so you don't waste your time expecting something to be there. You want to talk about wasted time? Again, Ogre Battle. I would spend 30 to 40 minutes on a map with no enemies on it just to see if I could find some extra shit, side quest or whatever. Wasting time is something I do not care about. I don't think this game's going to be anywhere near as long as Ogre Battle. I had actually spent several weeks, maybe almost a month or two, playing it. Two hours a night, Mondays, Tuesdays, and like three to four hours on the weekends. That shit was crazy. Uh, we're gonna kill the ghost again. Get bones after this map and his monster be helpful. Oh, damn. Well, then. I guess I'm gonna go for the end then. That. Or I could just fuck off on the map and just grind. That was one thing, too, when I first played this game as a kid. I didn't understand the point of leveling up. Man, that's probably why I kept losing battles. I wasn't very good at strategy games as a kid. Like, when I first played Pokemon, for example, I didn't understand the idea of using more than your starter. So, I used my Charizard to single-handedly beat the whole game for me. Even the Elite Four. He took on the entire Elite Four by himself and won. It took me so many attempts to do that. <laughs> and then at the very end against Blastoise, I had to cheese it with... Uh, I had to cheese it with Fissure. Let's take your middle and feel both neutralized. Oh, I didn't know they had status effects. Figure they should have that, but yeah, I haven't seen any status effects. Like I said, I just... Ogre Battle. They got status effects in that game. Almost everything um, is like frozen. It puts an enemy to sleep. They have Slumber. Then they have Paralyze, which is the same thing. Um, oh shit, maybe that's all they got. Oh no, they got a Dark Slumber. A Dark version of Slumber. But it's the same fucking thing. Like, they have three different status effects all do the same thing. I just had the game level to get them. Oh, okay. Midnight Fiend Poisons, which is okay. Yeah, that Poison Ogre battle. I actually never understood what that does. It says poison, but... It doesn't say what it does. It doesn't say if it powers them down. Because there are attacks that power down and power up. But they don't say which. You know, I'm gonna send you directly for the main castle, and then let that fort get taken over. I don't care. Oh, caught him right before the fort.
finish him. I think that monster. No, no, that's probably not him. Mokuba is my strongest <laughs> fucking marshal right now. That's dumb. I hate Mokuba so much. In the anime, I don't really. In this game, I'm kind of neutral on him. Just in the anime, he's a total puss. Talent for this game is very generous. But then again, it's only the second level. I was working on max leveling every monster. God damn, why? <laughs> I mean, if you have the dedication, go for it, but... That don't sound fun at all. Shit, I called a day just for collecting all the monsters, which I'm probably not gonna do. Wait, why is... Oh, because it's under the tower. Can't really... I can't say that word. I'm bad at saying words, but I got you. Yeah, good luck with the moisture creature. Moisture creature? I don't know what that means. Um, we're gonna kill the cute guy. Again. He's so adorable. It's like a little squishy potato. He's the mute of this game. Hmm. What's the monster's name? Do you know? Dharma cannon? Yeah. But no, the uh, moisture creature. That's not aqua slime, is it? That's his name, Moisture Creature. Oh. Is that an actual, like, monster card? That doesn't sound like a monster card. He's a Martian in a gray wetsuit. You know what? I'm looking him up. And it's not cheating, because it's not a guide for this game. This is just Yu-Gi-Oh! trivia. Because the monster I'm thinking of now is an alien monster from GX, which doesn't make sense. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never used that card, which is why I don't know of them. Oh, damn. I was just kind of auto-playing the game and didn't realize my dragon got his ass whooped. Again. Okay, so I recognize him like I've seen him before. I just every time I go to a car shop and go through a binder and see him in there, I just instantly pass over it because I know it's not good. Also has an umbrella. That's weird. Uh, fuck it. We'll just overkill him. Dragons kind of suck in this game. Why? Warrior Fairies. Oh. 
So, like, what do the time differences do? Because this game doesn't really do a good job of explaining, like, the different mechanics of this game. Like, I see the different symbols for each monster, and then they tell you in the beginning, like, the leader of your squad determines the speed, but they don't actually tell you where, what your speed stat is. Oh, because some of the equipment. Okay. finish up the fight. Fastest monster is... I'm not even going to attempt that. He's a ninja. Okay. Is there a way to check their speed stat? Because I tried. And I couldn't figure it out. Ooh, there goes my puppy whining about something. <laughs> Gone with the critical. I'll take it. So now Kai was actually my most underleveled. Visible, invisible stat determined by field size of a unit. Fortress will. Oh, so bigger circle means slower. Okay. That's dumb. Why would they hide the stat? Coming with us. Can I recommend a flyer for the middle unit? Um, well, you fly. Shit. Keep forgetting D pad. Mm. No, I changed my mind because I do want him to be bulky. I want to pick up monsters with him. Next fibers Pegasus. Always remember to equip potions and retreat needed before you lose your whole team. Yeah, you know what? I'm, I didn't realize how potions work prior to this. Like, it's been a long time since I played this game. Alright, do I have any monsters I can switch? Yeah, you're hot garbage. Yeah, but I don't have anything. Wait. He's actually the same, like, attack as the Dark Clown. But his higher defense. Ooh, you know what? You're a flyer, though. Saggy's extremely OP. Why is that? I mean, he's got a high-as-fuck defense, 
So I figure he'd be good for holding potions, since he, uh, you know, since he doesn't care about taking hits too often. All right, you are my team. Late game saggy hurts. Oh, that's good to know. All right, so let's put some potions on. Who's got the highest defense? All right, you're gonna get an item. one of your action points. Yeah, I'm not actually going to hold off items on this squad. And this squad. So, what do the abilities do? Most stats you're seeing right now are off the card stats in the card game. Oh. Well, I mean, not really, because, uh, you know, like 700 or whatnot, 764. There's not too many monsters that... Actually, I don't know if any cards that go outside of, um, fives. I guess it might be loosely based on it, but... Yeah, so if, like... Okay, I'm assuming discount means he buys items for cheaper. But I don't know. They need to have, like, a thing where they can explain shit better. Alright, well, I think I'm ready for the next fight. The whole team ages poorly, Mokuba. At level 1, they have their card stats. Oh, okay. Dark King of the Abyss, one of the best units in the entire game. He has a lot of good abilities and higher level. See, I never got that far in this game. I got, like, to... Hmm. So, knowing Yugi's, I got to the point where you had to defend the thing. I don't know how far I got Kaiba's story. Oh, no. Not my fortress. Oh, dang. He's got a lot of units. Damn, there's a lot of units. Level 67 range, like, unlocks and all nice skills. Alright, well, that sounds super late game. Um, you yeah, know, let's go buy some equipment. This looks like more of an endurance round level. It takes three campaigns to get there. What? I don't think I'm gonna play this game three times. I'm gonna do Kaibas and Yugi's. Do something, turtle. They're coming. Oh, that's that's some high stats. Damn. Uh, we're gonna kill this bitch. Joey campaigns around that level. Oh, I didn't know there was a Joey campaign. See, I don't know shit about this game.
The cannon is great, even though she's a bit squishy. I see how much damage she does. Actually, not as hurtful as I thought I was going to be. That being said, though, I don't want you on the field anymore. Assholes. I'm gonna bully my pink guy like that. Let's get it late game. Okay. You know what Pokemon let's use. See, I'm bad at picking things. I always pick the worst ones. Or I pick stuff that doesn't really make sense. Alright, we're gonna send you out of the castle. I didn't check what his stats were. I know those blue monsters are squishy, so I'm gonna hit them first. And the stone guy just looks tanky. Based on it, I know what he is. Yeah, he is tanky, so we're gonna go for, we're gonna go for the little monsters. Yeah, I see that, the action points. Oh, you waited? Oh boy, you're gonna lose that turn probably. Hmm. That's. Damn, that's two attacks he completely missed out on. Sucks to suck. The green head guy's pretty bad. Really? I love him. I don't like the lobster. Oh, he's guarding, so I guess we'll hit the stone. Bones and Kaiba, you be the pickup squad. Yeah. Oh, okay. I told the motherfucker to get out of the town and he just sits there. Or I guess Mogaba gets the XP. He gets lucky in armor, which is a pretty bad combo. Look, it makes enemies more likely to miss and armor reduces damage taken. I mean, I don't know. That seems pretty bad to me. Although, I guess without a way of making enemies to attract to you, I can see why it's pretty pointless, because they could just choose not to attack you. But if you have a whole squad of something like that... Okay, now you send out... It's armor and swift. Okay. Oh, your attack's garbage.
Well, his entire team is just units that can't do shit for damage. to finish this. I'm not going to do another attack with Bones. That was bad. He could be a finish up squad, but this dude's way too tanky to finish him up like that. I can be building shops and checking items. They have to sell weapons like legendary sword and bow and arrow. Oh! I guess I'm a god choice. We're, gonna, we're just going to go back at it. You're gonna guard, you're about to die. She's the only one that does any decent damage to him. Making those two very good versus final boss, snake hair, midnight fiend. Okay. Alright, we're gonna send you back to hill. You back to hill and Kaiba. We can go in that forest to look for a monster. A right, quick question. Paralysis and poison will help chip its HP. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Um, are random monster spots in mountains like this? Thank God, I didn't feel like searching through mountains every time. We got a lot of units in this fucking level. Oh, that's another forest over there. Fuck. Actually, if I'm looking at the map, that's three forests. There ain't anyone on this map. Oh, thank God. All right. Um, you're just going to go in there. Damn. He was only in one fight, and he got his ass whooped. Another random location is the random location of your creature. Oh. Wait. This is... No, it's not the same dude. I mean, it's the same creatures, but it can't be the same exact person. What about that Bethlehemot thing? Or is that just he's always in the same spot? Can't see him on the map. No crabber. Wait, so you can see other mini monsters on the map, or hidden monsters? So I didn't see Belfamont, dude. I just like ran into him the moment I walked in the forest in the first level. 
Yeah, it's like they're always in the same spot and they're all invisible. See, I just don't like the fact they're invisible. That's an ogre battle. I'd have like 10 units just running around the map looking for invisible items. Which actually is one of the reasons that took me kind of a long time to beat that game. At least I have a general idea of where to look for them in forests. Kaiba, you finally caught up and leveled to everybody else. Hey, which is the one I can't let him take? Oh. That was two dread monster groups to get. You have to repeat to have all the same monsters. Have all the monsters. You have to repeat. Oh, this campaign. Oh. Yeah, I'm not repeating any campaigns. I'll play all the new ones, but I'm not repeating anything else. That sounds, that sounds like a lot of work. More like a get them as I get them type of thing going on. Oh, I didn't pay attention. I guess he was guarding. Fuck you. Really? Oh, and I lost. I'm a BK kid. When you pick monsters, colors are important to look at the orbs. In fact, how much a marshal will give the monster in their stat bonuses. Oh! Well, that is actually good information to know. So I think I might have to redo my troops after this one. I was hoping to get first strike. Oh, don't kill my dragon. <gasps> no! You can also change over time, so don't worry if they don't immediately match. Oh. Oh, that's good. He doesn't have any attacks left, so he has to just sit there and take it. So there is a chance that he could kill the dragon next turn, especially if he gets first strike. So I might send Kaiba back. That's why he'll finish him off. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. To me, it's highly recommend avoiding. I'm gonna kill everybody. Because it can. Okay, you go back to town before you get your ass beat, sir. Well, send bones. You need the XP. And how many 
troops are here. We'll go ahead and send Mokuba to go ahead and weaken this and maybe take it. Yeah, bitch, fuck your first strike. My dragon ain't here for you to bully. Judge me and get like 6 AP. Oh no. I'm not very useful compared to someone like Celtic Guardian, max at 12. Oh. Oh my god. 12? <laughs> Jesus Christ. Those late game battles must take forever. Better everyone just gets one shot super quick. So what happened in Ogre Battle? You get to late game and all your units are powerful, but at the same time enemy units are powerful, so everyone just takes shot or takes turns one shotting each other. Cause your attack greatly fucking um, outpaces your defense and health in that game. For all units. Alright. I'm not attacking you. I can make it back safe. Appeal to teams that can take out strong teams in a decent amount of turns. See, when I get enough monsters, I'm just going to glass cannon everything. It's probably a terrible idea, but... Oh well. Oh, it's this guy. Special attacks. Huh. Uh, you have two attacks still, so we're gonna hit you. Magician, Dark Magician, Girl of the Will combo, Streaming Strong, do Yugi's campaign. Okay, I'll look forward to that one. Oh, guarding you little cunt. Hey, might even actually dodge them for once. Good for him. Kaiba fills your roster of dragons and fiends. Okay. But don't spoil too much. Keep it generalized if you can. Lobster took kind of a beating, but I could probably do another attack and have the lobster guard the whole time. Yeah, I think about that turtle can was probably useless. I don't really see them attacking my base for the rest of the game. And if they do, they're probably going to be super weak. So when you need the cannon. Yeah, they just might have to get my all-time favorite monsters. Oh, that's cool. Alright, you're going to defend him. Because I don't want you dying. Let's 
Zanky. Super Max AV is a lot of attack. Oh! That's broken. But Yu Gi Oh!'s never been a game about balance. Everybody knows that. <gasps> My lobster. I got my kill. Bicker box. See, you're saying a bunch of names, and since this is classic Yu Gi Oh, I feel like I should know them, but I don't. At least by name. Pretty sure if I saw their picture, I'd recognize them. Get your ass in there. You finish that out. He's a clown in a box. Oh! You know what? Um, does he have a beak? Because if so, I know who he is. See, you're kind of shit, and I don't want you attacking me. Okay, yeah, I know who you're talking about then. And go for the pink guy again. Actually, I had a little toy of the pink guy when I was a kid. I love that thing. He's a proto two monster. Remember when in the anime tunes are just so broken in OP, and then in real life they're pretty garbage. Even with all that tune support. Still an interesting monsters, but I won't ever I won't ever play them seriously. I'm gonna have you guard. See, you keep talking about a lot of late game stuff, and I don't think I'll ever reach. Honestly, if I took that castle, I should just put a healing thing there. How about like a center? Wonder girl. I get what you mean. I mean, I don't think I was going to confuse it for anybody else. <laughs> so, are you playing on an actual GameCube or an emulator? So I tried to get this run on Dolphin a couple years back, and I got to like level two or three of Yugi, and it kept crashing right there. Like it kept crashing the moment I'd get into like the third battle, and I just couldn't continue. So that was my actual second attempt to try this game, and that was 2015 or 16, I believe. Might have been in before that. Wii on my physical copy. Oh, okay. That's what I'm playing on Wii. Unless you get a critical, you're not finishing it this round. 
Oh well. What's one more attack? We runs better than the GameCube. Does it? I feel like it's just the same. That was a pointless battle. At a certain point, it should have just been an auto win. Like, as soon as I walked in the fortress, it should have been an auto win instead of going to the loading screen. Gotta hook up my Wii for God's not even remotely set up. Damn. Yeah, my Wii's gonna be plugged up for a while. Um, I got a couple of games I actually want to stream on it. This, um, The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess. Oh, you know what? I think after that, I'm probably gonna plug in and plug the switch in. Are you done healing yet? Fucking no. I really don't want to send bones in. But. Ooh, you know what? I have to go capture that real quick. You go look for monsters over here. Where's the last forest? Back here. Okay. I guess my brother's using it. Oh, that sucks. Like, I don't care if the units are back to full health. I just don't want them to get one shot the moment I get into a fight. So maybe like half health. And then I'll have like all of them attack at once, so I don't need to do like two attacks of the same marshal. I guess I could send you full health. I mean, you he's pretty shit, but I mean... I fucking made a mistake. Yeah, we're not even we're not even gonna fuck with that. You use potion outside of combat, but I don't wanna waste them. I'm gonna read your character stat. Oh, I can't actually read his character stats. Damn it! That dude looks tough as shit. No bones. We'll have you attack this instead. That same key. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, he looks overpowered as shit, and he looks scary. Every fucking monster on that squad had three attacks. You'll get him after this. Alright, well, I'm probably gonna send all my nudes after him then. And then I'll send bones to chip away at well, officer, generic name. Oh, thanks for the follow. Never seen see the notification pop up.
Actually, my follow notifications have been off for a long time. I just now figure out how to do it. You know what? I spent all this money to get a PC just to stream. Only to do an overlay. A little tiny overlay, which I haven't even put on. But I did do a pre-stream and a be right back um, screen. I like those. They make me happy. God, that guy's so squishy. I'm replacing him when I get the chance. Actually, no, lobster first. Actually, no, 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 him first, because this whole squad can't do any damage. So I need to put some nuclear to deal damage. Some time. Oh, I fucking love Morwen. It is my favorite of the Elder Scrolls. I heard two's really good, like really good, but I've never actually played it. I actually, um, the game I play, you know, when I'm not streaming usually is Elder Scrolls Online. I think I, last time I tried to play Morrowind, I tried to do a second playthrough of a mage. And playing a mage in that game is super inconvenient, just because the magic um, magic doesn't come back the same way as health does. I love Morrowind, but I hate how magic just does not come back, like it does in Skyrim. And Skyrim does a lot of things that piss me off. Like, they just made it too simplified. And you can't fly anywhere you want, which is pretty dumb. I miss Levitate. Oh, that's right, you said there's no monsters on this map. Alright, so you go back to healing. One thing that's gonna fuck me up about this game is there's no way to, like, pause the action on the overworld map. Not the overworld map, the, uh... Whatever you'd want to call this, the board? Because in Ogre Battle, you can actually pause the time, you know, by hitting pause or by moving your cursor off screen a little bit. But in this, it's constantly going. So you don't got, like... Yeah, you can't leave. No bathroom breaks. Right, I mean, I guess you could and just let the game play itself and probably beat your ass if you're not paying attention. God, Bones got his ass whooped on that. Like, it wasn't even funny. Still got over half time, so I could just wait it out. Although it doesn't look like they're gonna send any troops to come attack my city. Okay, so this is how I can check his troops. Ugh, night adept? Night adept and it's nighttime? No. That's what do your abilities do? Mountain adept? Well, not fighting in the mountain.
Those replenish do. You're almost ready to fight again. I wonder if your healing's based on how many hearts you have in a town. No, because he's healing pretty fast and their hearts are defiant. so slow. I should hit that samurai first when I do hit him. Are they ready yet? Nearly. I'll go ahead and send Kaiba and Mokuba to go take out the strong guy. Have him weaken and Bones finish him off. Actually, Bones won't be able to finish him off in his next attack. But probably be able to kill one monster. Yeah, you leave Pinky alone. Should have guarded. It'd be overkill if I hit the weakest one, so I'll use the girl, Aqua Girl, Water Girl, whatever the fuck her name is. Bones, you should have no trouble killing him. Okay, 
Yeah, they level up pretty quick, though. Alright, just balls of the wall on that guy. Do not be critical. Okay. If she dies, that's an issue because she's the damage dealer. So hopefully he'll she'll get a chance to defend first. Yep, he's gonna kill her. That sucks. Oh well, at least Bones gets the martial credit for the victory. And she falls further behind. Oh yeah, so I wasn't gonna attack him at night. Here I am attacking him at night. Oh well, damage is done. Oh, so nighttime just gives him an extra attack.
least they're spreading out their attacks, which is going to be good for when I need them to get healed. I don't have to wait on just one. If I manage to kill him, I'll just retreat. Oh. Never mind. They have a lot more attacks than I have. So we're gonna call it. Oh! The escape mist. Didn't even know that was a, that was a thing. Don't kill my dragon. I need him. Oh, fuck. Hmm, good luck. <laughs> no, he's dead. He leveled up as he died. Did not know you could fill escape, so uh I guess escaping's really not even worth it now. Just battle it out. How many of those you fucking have? Oh no, he didn't. He was just hitting the crab. Okay, they're all hitting the crab. And he's gonna heal again. You piece of shit. If I get my fail my escapes again. Oh, got that one. Please tell me to put a monster reborn on Kaiba squad. I said I didn't want to waste potions, but no point now.
thought there was a way to see how many potions he had, or I guess it's only if he's traveling. Does Mokuba Squad have a potion? No, they don't. I remember now. God, I still can't believe that son of a bitch. Guess I'll wait till daytime. Back at some connection issues. Ah, okay. Yeah, so I seen that his monster had Night Adept, um, and I attacked him at night anyways. That was a that was a mistake. I send you back to the main town. Maybe have him buy an item or two. And I'm gonna send you to the other squads. You're all gonna attack that guy. Fucking okay, Kaiba's full health, go for it. If anything, I'm just gonna try to chip at him as much as I can. Ah, oh, it's still night time. Actually, I had a toy of that guy, too, the guy that's attacking right now. I think he was part of... No, he wasn't. He wasn't, never mind. But I did have a toy of him. I got him the same time I got the Dungeon Dice Master's uh, board game. Flamethrower attack takes a little too long. They only got two attacks left to my three. I guess I'll risk it. Fuck your blue medicine. Oh, and he guarded his last attack. Should be enough. I 
That's a lot of money. Maybe earlier game it would have kind of paid off, but it's too late now. The water effect in this game looks pretty good, especially considering it's time. Normally I don't care about the water effects in video games, but that just kind of stood out to me. You know what? I think it'd be funny. You go in there. Actually, you know what? No, I was kidding. I was definitely kidding. You'd die. Like, all of you would die. Yeah, I gave the potions to Sag and the Dark Clown, but, you know, there's no point, so I'm just gonna have to wait for the auto heal. While oh, the enemy gets to heal, too. myself against a wall. Oh, I guess him going there might not be a terrible idea as like a stopgap to stop the enemy from healing while I get to heal if I kill one of their units. left too. I'm a little bit over my stream time, but that's okay. Just can't believe it started taking longer than over battle. Then again, I did do three missions compared to two per ogre. This being the third one, though. Alright, when that cave dragon get, gets a little bit more, I'm going to send him in Order of Mokuba. Kaiba, this guy, and then Bones. This picture just doesn't make sense compared to everybody else's. Oh, I still need time to defeat Pegasus, too.
Oh, that's he's full health, the crab. He looks like he do one more. Focus on the little monster dude, since when it becomes night again, he gets that extra attack. They had a lot more attacks in reserve than I did, so better leave then. Because Crab had two attacks left, but he'd only do like a max of 100 something with those two, like 140 maybe? So. That was the best course, I believe. Lizard defend. Oh, defending takes two. I didn't realize that. Now oh, it takes two for him. Fuck your medicines. Takes one. I don't understand. I thought I saw it take two last time. If I can, all right, Kaiba, go in there. Attack takes way too long. Ooh, what you gonna do, Samurai? You have any more healing? Because if you do, you're gonna miss one of your attacks. Yeah, that's what I thought.
at least they're spreading out the attacks and not just focusing on my dragon. Alright, if you don't heal him again, he's dead. Oh, he's dead. My last parting gift. Let's just jump back in that fight. I guess he's out of potions because he would have normally healed. Guess he's all by them lonesome now. Let the others heal. Matter of mm. I was in the main town here in a second, I guess. I have double his attacks, but I'm not going to do the same amount of damage as him at all. All right, he didn't do any damage, so I guess that was a lie. All right, I'm gonna skip to the end here as my capture card just crapped out and it froze the frames. So basically what ends up happening is I finished that fight and then I wait for all my units to auto heal before I fight Pegasus. Not realizing I can use potions or any other way to heal. I actually auto wait, which takes 20 to 30 minutes. So I just sit around and play with the cursor. That's all that happens. So then I go fight Pegasus. I beat Pegasus. And then I figure out that my frames are messed up. And then I fix it. And this is where we end up. Oh, wow. I uh, fixed it? Huh. Well, I 
pretty sure that footage is all lost. Oh well. I guess I know what to do to fix it next time. Oh my god, am I gonna join the revolution just like an ogre battle? Yay, monster reborn. I shouldn't have powered him up with units. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Damn, that's brutal, Kaiba. I will. Can I take away his monsters? That'd be funny. Okay. Uh, wasn't I supposed to get a monster from that last battle, too? Do a swap mode. <gasps> oh, no, I didn't actually start the mission. That's good. I didn't actually get any uh any monsters to use.
Oh well. I'm gonna save it here, and then it's been almost three hours, so yeah, I'm gonna save it here and then pick it up another time. But all right, I'm out. Thanks for watching.